Indian Navy spokesperson said in a tweet that mission deployed Indian naval warships will undertake shipment of liquid oxygen-filled cryogenic containers and associated medical equipment. Indian Navy launches Operation Samudra Setu underscore 2 to augment ongoing national mission Oxygen Express. Mission deployed Indian naval warships will undertake shipment of liquid oxygen-filled cryogenic containers and associated medical equipment in support of nation's fight against COVID-19, the tweet said. Two ships INS Kolkata and INS Talwar have entered the port of Manama, Bahrain to transport 40 metric tons MT, of liquid oxygen to Mumbai. Two ships INS Kolkata and INS Talwar have entered port of Manama, Bahrain for embarking and transporting 40 MT of liquid oxygen to Mumbai. INS Jalashwa is en route to Bangkok and INS Arabat to Singapore for similar mission, the spokesperson said. The Russian Navy for the first time test-fired a supersonic anti-ship cruise missile in the Black Sea, the military announced Friday with tensions still high following Russia's troop buildup near Ukraine. The Moskva-guided missile cruiser launched one turbojet missile toward the opposite end of the Black Sea, according to the Defense Ministry run Zvezda Broadcaster's coverage. A drone spotted the wreckage of a simulated enemy ship 100 seconds later, it added. These missiles are the reason why our cruiser is called aircraft carrier killer, a Zvezda correspondent said from the deck during the launch. The Black Sea Fleet's Moskva missile cruiser for the first time in recent history fired the Vulcan missile with the ship's basalt main missile system in the waters of the Black Sea, the Defense Ministry tweeted. The P-1000 Vulcan is an improved version of the Soviet-era P-500 basalt missile with a reported firing range of 800 km, compared to the basalt's 550 km. The Zvezda correspondent said the Moskva had previously deployed its missile systems only during long-haul missions. The Black Sea Fleet test-fired the system in the week that it launched live-fire naval combat exercises with the Moskva, other warships and military helicopters. The Defense Ministry also said Tuesday that its fleet was monitoring the U.S. Coast Guard cutter Hamilton that entered the Black Sea to work with NATO allies. The U.S. has kick-started the process to sell six more P-8 maritime surveillance aircraft to India with the Pentagon's Defense Security Cooperation Agency notifying Congress of the possible sale on Friday, 30 April. The Indian Navy, which already operates a large fleet of P-8s, will get these submarine hunting aircraft at an estimated cost of $2.42 billion.